Today I'd like to tell you about the 55 inch LG NanoCell 90 series TV and why I think it would be the right choice for your next TV for your Xbox Series X. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here and if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to simplify your gaming experience. Now, the first thing I would like to point out is that the LG Nano Series is not in fact an OLED like its bigger brother and more expensive brother, the LG OLED C1, uh, which I did do a review on recently, which you can find right here. So you might be wondering, Wayne, what is the difference between a nano cell TV and an OLED TV? So let's go ahead and cover that real quick. We'll get that out of the way and then I'll tell you about the other features and why I think this is going to be a great TV for your Xbox Series X. So what is nano cell? Well, LG explains it as such. LG nano cell technology uses particles to absorb unwanted light light, wavelengths, and enhanced the purity of the red and green colors displayed on the screen. In addition, they create subtler, more accurate colors that stay true even at a wide viewing angles. So even if the whole family is gathered around the TV, everyone has the best seat in the house, whether they're in front and center or across the room and off to the side. Now you need to keep in mind, this is a backlit LED monitor, whereas an OLED TV is going to be individual little pixels that are self-lit and give you a much brighter and more contrast in your picture so you can get very dark darks and you can get very bright white. So that's what's going to be the difference between an OLED TV and a nano cell TV. So again, just to kind of recap that, a nano cell is gonna be an LED with the backlit monitor and an OLED TV is going to be individual self-lit pixels. Okay, and so now that we have those quick differences kind of out of the way, let's go ahead and cover why I think this is going to be a good TV for your Xbox Series X. And the first reason is actually going to be the cost. Now, as you probably have seen or, or you already know about on these OLED TVs, they're a bit pricey. And as in fact, if you were looking to buy the 55 inch LG OLED C1, you would be looking at about $1,500. Now, the LG NanoCell 90 series is going to be a little pricey still, but it's going to be a little bit better on your wallet. And that's going to come in around $1,099 at the time of making this video. Now, after watching this video and you feel like this does fit your budget and for the specs that you're going to get, I have left a link in the description below for you guys to pick this TV up and uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out. All right, and so now that we have the price out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to the features that really kind of matter for you when you're going to talk about gaming with your Xbox Series X. And to me, one of the most important things you're going to have to have when it comes to buying a new TV is whether the TV is 4K and that it does 120 hertz, which the NanoCell 90 series does. So it does have the 4K and 120 hertz for your gaming so that you can get the best picture quality that you can and also the highest refresh rate. Now, the other really important feature that I believe uh, any new TV really needs to have is multiple HDMI 2.1 uh, inputs so that you can kind of future proof yourself. And in fact, this particular TV has two HDMI 2.1 inputs, which from my understanding and research is input three and input four will be your HDMI 2.1s. Now this is important because if you want to kind of future proof yourself, or maybe you already have your Xbox Series X and you plan on getting a PS5, um, you'll be able to just plug those both right into the TV and you won't have to worry about constantly taking them in and out and switching sources or something like that, but also being able to run at 4K at 120 hours. So this, these inputs are extremely important for the future of console gaming. All right, so some of the other important features are going to be variable refresh rate, which this TV does have. And in fact, you can find that in the LG game optimizer menu where you'll be able to change the AMD free sync settings. And lastly, this TV does have the auto low latency mode. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're comparing this TV to an OLED TV, uh, the NanoCell 90 series is, isn't going to have quite as good of an input lag as you would find on the OLED TV, but it is still a pretty good input lag looking around about six milliseconds. As well as I can't really find the exact response times, but the response time is also going to be pretty low for you. Okay guys, so now that we talked about all the positives and why it might be a good TV for your Xbox Series X, let's go ahead and cover a couple of the negatives uh, about this TV so that way we can make the best decision for you guys. So one of the negatives that I found is that even though this is an IPS panel, uh, you know, some of the research, even though LG is kind of saying that, you know, your whole family should be able to watch the TV from wide viewing angles and stuff like that. Some of the research that I found is actually stating kind of the opposite, that it doesn't actually have quite as wide of an 
viewing angle as perhaps another uh, IPS panel from another company. I'm not sure exactly what that is. That's a little bit above what I understand, but basically other people that I've found um, by researching about this TV have really kind of mentioned that. It wasn't just one place, a couple places have mentioned that. So something to keep in mind is, you know, if you are trying to use this for movies and stuff as well, and you have a family room that you're trying to play this on and, and then watch movies later, this may not actually be the best viewing angle monitor or TV that's out there for you. Okay, and then the other con that I kind of found was, and this isn't like a huge con, but if you are using a receiver and you want to use the ARC input, that same input is actually an HDMI 3, which was going to be one of your 2.1 inputs. And so if you need to use the receiver and you have to put it in there and because you want to use the ARC features, you would possibly be losing one of your future HDMI 2.1 inputs by using that. So that's something just to kind of keep in mind. If you were to do that, then obviously you're back down to basically you only having one HDMI 2.1 available to you. Whereas an OLED uh, C1 is going to have four HDMI 2.1 inputs. So, uh, you know, it's kind of some give and take there and you just have to make that decision for yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, and so now I'd like to give you a little bit of my final thoughts on this particular TV, the LG NanoCell 90 series. And overall, LG makes some great TVs, so I don't really think you're going to be disappointed in your purchase if you go with this TV for the price and it fits your budget for what you need. So what I would like to know now is your thoughts. You know, leave me a comment below. Do you think this is a good TV for your Xbox Series X? Do you think the price point is too high? Do you think it's too low? Do you think maybe you should uh, save up an additional $400, $500 and go, just go ahead and get the LG uh, OLED C1. You know, let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear from you guys. And with that said, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.